Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you an audio commentary between Remine and Ted here on Twisted Meadows. Ex excuse me just a little bit as I cough. We do have Ted spawning here on the top left hand position as the pink undead player quickly going Ultra of Darkness, Crypt, and Ziggurat. So I'm expecting ghouls to be coming out from Ted. Meanwhile, we have Remine going an early Ultra of Elders. So th we are going to have non tavern heroes coming in from Remine. Remine pick dropping an Ancient of War right outside this orange null camp. So we are going to have some early creeping coming in from Remind. And let's see what's going to happen here. It's going to be a couple more seconds until we do have the heroes. Let's see, Ted is... Ted is going to go ahead and produce his fifth Acolyte. Let's see if he's going to produce a sixth one to do continue some creeping, some scouting. And he is not producing a sixth Acolyte to scout, so um, do not expect too much action early in the game at this point. Both players pretty much deciding to creep right now, and we have a Warden coming in from Remind. So um, Remind quickly going a Warden instead of the Demon Hunter. Meanwhile, we have the Death Knight coming in from Ted. Early Ghoul Scout now heading out. Um, clockwise to this position over here at the two o'clock position will not find a remind so ted scouting in the wrong direction and that is going to you know change the impact of the game just a little bit we have an ancient of war now completed and the archer is being produced so remind is doing the classic ancient of war creeping and feeling pretty safe about that as he is not going up against a human player who can use early militia and and just start destroying that tree. We do have a wisp now coming out from Remind, so Remind also scouting clockwise. And it, it is going to be a close spawn between the two and the Death Knight. As soon as he's, if the wisp is spotted, we'll go ahead and a try to disrupt this creeping Ancient of War now heading out, trying to do some damage on the Null Overseer. And the Warden is now coming out. The Death Knight knows that knows exactly where Remind is at this point, so let's see how this is going to go ahead and play out. A ghoul now coming into play, we have trying to take down that Null Overseer, now trying to get a couple of hits on that ghoul, and then, and that Null Overseer should um, fall to the Warden unless that ghoul gets in that last hit, and the Warden does get that last hit, and now, um, ooh, nice death coil to save that, ghoul, that low hit point ghoul, and the Ancient of War is now trying to pull back as the Warden is now chasing down that Death Knight. We do have a Rod of Necromancy being pr purchased by and the, and by the Death Knight. Ooh, and nice blocking and padding coming in from the Death Knight to save that low hit point ghoul from that Shadow Strike. So the ghoul will make it back into the base and Ted will be able to save a Death Coil. And now we have another Ancient of War being produced over here by the Goblin Merchant Shop. Um, so Goblin Merchant Shop now producing, um, or Goblin Merchant Shop is going to be the next on the list as an archer is now going to go ahead and finish down in this creep camp and the no and the warden is still creeping very well remind doing a good job of splitting his attention between the two two bases between his hero and and on um, creeping over here to the south remind now has to pick up and eat some trees to try to regenerate some hit points as this ancient of war is going to be heading over here in just a moment warden now trying to still keep pressure on this death knight the death knight does have some some dust of appearances so we'll see how this go ahead and play out Ooh, ancient of wonders being produced and and or no cancelled just because he wants to make sure that a death coil does not hit him so nice uh, nice change having the wisp turn into a tree for just a second to make him immune to any death coils wisp now coming um, death knight now coming in does have two um, skeletal minions gonna go ahead and join him but ted wants or remind wants to do some damage on those on those ghouls we do have mass ghouls coming in from ted so let's see if we're gonna get any surrounds here we do have a dust of appearance and the warden needs to get it needs to get out of there in a hurry is gonna get, go ahead and get surrounded so if, this, if he's able to take down a single skeletal minion that would that would be good a nice quick death coil and now now scroll of town portal now to teleport back into safety so warden now back at the base we do have a couple and um, moon wells being placed down and remind now is a, in a little bit of trouble here not quite sure how the, how this is gonna go ahead and play out and and we do have the death knight now coming in purchasing and um, boots of speed in order Ooh, we have the warden now getting to level two so the warden does now have blink i'm not quite sure what he, d he what he killed in order to get that um get that last bit of experience but he d he was able to get that off and now the death knight now currently sitting at level one unable to do 
and oh, try, Warden trying to get in front of Ted's uh, Death Knight. And it, will he be able to get that last? No, he's not going to be able to get it. But the Warden it does pick up that last item. Does he have a fan of knives or a blink? Not quite sure. Oh, he, oh yes, he goes ahead and blinks. And it does make it away. So a bunch of misses coming in from those Death Knights and that ghoul. So, Warden now trying to um, perhaps doing some creeping over here. No, um, Warden wants to pick up... Um, I think he wanted to pick up a boots of speed, but notice that the um, the are under excuse me the death knight picked it up, so it's still probably on cooldown, not unable unable to be purchased. Tree of Ages now being checked, Hunter's Hall being um, produced, and now the warden quickly re regenerates back at base, and now is going to go ahead and continue to press right now. Only four archers coming out, so those archers will fall quickly to those ghouls, um, the ghouls of Ted. If Ted is able to get a couple couple good quick surrounds, and skeletal minion quickly wakes up those creeps. We do have a single Ancient of Lore being produced and an Ancient of Wonders. I would expect Remind to be going double Ancient of Lores. Not quite sure. We do have a Pandirium Brewmaster now out in play. So no fan of knives though, unfortunately, as he had to use he had to use Blink in order to get away from him in that one particular situation. So Remind now going ahead and trying to press back in, unable to really get to those ghouls and um, Death Knight we're having this a little bit of a dance out in the field. Both players trying to get the upper hand, trying to see if they can find a hole in, in the other player's defenses. And the Remind is now going to go ahead and try to take down this... <coughs> take down this creep camp. No, Ted tries to push back once more, so really just a dance, and the longer this fight goes, the more that the undead player will be able to continue to tech and and perhaps um, just be able to push harder with those higher tech units. Pandirium Brewmaster now trying to come in. Breath of Fire misses all those units, so a missed Breath of Fire now coming in. Now um, Ted trying to do some creeping, but um, or Remind trying to do some creeping, but Ted now coming in to try to harass him once more. Death Knight getting a quick Shadow Strike, uses a Potion of Healing in order to counteract that, and now the Ancient of War is now tr once again pulling to the back as archers are and units are just getting um, Shadow Strike. Not quite sure what Ted's trying to com commit here. Both players not really doing much. A single archer is going to fall due to um, being ensnared earlier. So Ted getting a, a free kill basically from those creep camps. And we do have a slaughterhouse now being produced. So statues um, coming in relatively in a short time right now. We do have abolished magic being researched by by um, Remind at this point. A single ancient or dual ancient of lore is being produced. And Ted now continuing to push, pressing in. Um, Ancient of War taking a lot of damage from those creep camps. Um, both players not really um, creeping that hard. It, it looked originally that there was going to be a lot of creeping, but both players just really trying to make sure, or Ted really trying to make sure that um, the fan of knives and the breath of fire from Remind does not really get that high because once there's a level 2 breath of fire and a level 3 fan of knives and um, the undead army pretty much cannot handle that much damage even with statues and a death coil ted now went ahead trying to pull back death knight trying to run around <coughs> warden trying to get another shadow strike does not get an additional shadow Please shadow strike and attack. yeah this is just like a game of cat and mouse not not quite sure quick abolish magic coming in from a dryad to try to get some additional experience so a, a little bit of a toy there and pandarian brewmaster now has some experience i think that was from the excuse me from the skeletal minions of orbital corruption now on the lich and also picking up another rod of necromancy at death knight now trying to do and um, trying to stay close by long enough breath of fire and Pandirian Brewmaster is now trying to creep, um, trying to do some creeping, knowing, oh, nice kill steal coming in from one single death coil. And let's see if he's going to be able to get that last kill. No, he's not going to be able to get that last kill, but the army of Ted is now coming in. And Remind is once again forced to uh, pull to the back a little bit. Druid of the Claw, not in bear form yet, is, um, ooh, nice staff of preservation to save that low hit point dryad. And stay tuned for part two and the conclusion of this replay between Remind and Ted here on Twisted Meadow.